pathways. Now, there are four dopaminergic pathways. So, let us very quickly see what are the four pathways. If this is the cerebrum and this is the mid brain, pons, medulla, and let us say here is the cerebellum. The, there are four pathways. One is going from the tegmentum to the, and let us say here is the caudate nucleus, amygdala is here, this is thalamus. Then, of course, nucleus accumbens sit here, part of the limbic system. So, the nucleus accumbens, here are the things that you should know for the dopaminergic pathways. Number one, nucleus accumbens. Number two, hypothalamus. Number three, anterior pituitary. Number two, number four, frontal lobe. And then, substantia nigra. And finally, the uh, neo striatum, which consists of nucleus, caudate, and putamen. These are the nuclei. So, we will talk about that. Our discussion today is going to be specially about the substantia nigra and the, the neo striatum. But these are the participants in the dopaminergic pathways. There are four dopaminergic pathways. One pathway is called mesolimbic. So, from the midbrain to the limbic system, especially the nucleus accumbens. This is the pathway that when has an abnormality causes schizophrenia. The, this pathway mesolimbic, mesolimbic pathway is dopaminergic. D2 receptors are present on the, D2 receptors are present here in the nucleus accumbens. Then, there is mesocortical. So, starting from the midbrain and to the frontal lobe, there is another pathway, dopaminergic pathway. Okay, so, the D2 receptors are present here. Mesocortical pathway, mesocortical pathway, mesocortical. Again, D2 receptors or dopamine release and do, dopamine receptors is for the negative negative effects. So, that is this pathway. Then is the nigrostriatal pathway. I am going to make it in blue and that is something which is really important. So, substantia nigra here in the midbrain and striatum here, this is the nucleus caudate and of, of course, uh, so caudate and the putamen. Putamen is going to be on the medial side of it and we would see this in more detail. This pathway, this pathway here, this is the nigro striatal pathway. That is also dopaminergic pathway. We have discussed about that pathway in detail in the basal ganglia's direct and indirect pathways. So, more detail there. Over here today, we will do enough to understand how Parkinson's is caused when there is a problem with that pathway. And finally, finally, so this was the nigrostriatal pathway, again D2 receptors. Remember, nigrostriatal pathway actually has D1 and D2 receptors both. We are talking about the D2 receptors coming from pars nigrostriatal. Substantia nigra, uh, substantia nigra pars compacta to the caudate nucleus and putamen. And then there is the pathway which is the hypothalamo pituitary pathway. And this is the pathway where hypothalamus, so if there is pituitary somewhere over here, I am just going to hypothalamus will be, so here in this one the hypothalamus is secreting dopamine onto the median eminence for the anterior pituitary and the function of this dopamine is to tonically inhibit the prolactin. Prolactin when not inhibited would cause the uh, milk or the clostrum formation and the milk formation. So, these four pathways are important. Why are they important? Number one to understand that 
when you are when you are practicing you know in the clinics and you are trying to treat Parkinson's when you give dopamine receptor blockers or when you give dopamine not the blockers when you give dopamine agonists then you would have effect on all four of them. Similarly, when you are treating someone with a schizophrenia or psychiatric problems and you give dopamine blockers then you would have again effect on all of them. So, remember these four pathways in your mind. Now. Like this video and smash that subscribe button as well and make sure that you hit the bell button and get the notifications for the new videos in the future.